Welcome to the Pano 2 VR screencasts. This screencast will introduce you to the options found in the Viewing Parameters window. I've already loaded a panoramic image into Pano 2 VR. Now would be a good time to do the same if you want to follow along with me. When you open the Viewing Parameters panel, you'll notice your image here on the right displaying the default view, which is from where the movie will begin. If you'd prefer to start the movie in a different area of the image, it's really simple to change. The easiest way to set the viewing default is to move the image to an area of your liking and then click Set. You can always reset the parameters by clicking Reset, and you can always go to the parameters you set by clicking Go To. If you exit out of this window and forget to click Set, Pano 2 VR will ask you if you want to set the current view as a default view. In the Viewing Limits panel, you can choose to limit the viewing area of the movie, how far a user can move upwards, downwards, left and right. If you click on the Show Limits box, you'll notice your display changes. Here you can choose how far left or right, top or bottom, that will be visible. This is especially helpful when you have a tripod visible on the bottom and you don't want it to be seen. So here I'll set a viewing limit for the bottom of the movie. Choosing Ignore Limits in Preview means that the limits you set for the movie won't be applied to the preview movie. Under Field of View, we can set the zooming limits of the movie, how far the user can zoom into the image or zoom out. To do it, just zoom in for the minimum and click Set. For the maximum, zoom out as far as you prefer and click Set. Now you're done with setting the viewing parameters and you can go ahead and test your movie. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.